Hi, I'm Tim Warner with CBT Nuggets. Welcome to the CBT Nuggets Micro Nugget entitled E-Readers Understanding Ebook File Formats. If you've watched my other Micro Nugget on this subject in which I give you good advice with regard to purchasing an e-reader, you'll recall that one of the questions I asked is which file formats are you interested in? And I didn't get into extensions as such in that Micro Nugget. Instead, I talked about content types, books, magazines, comic books, etc. Ebooks break down in the following five file formats. Now, if you check out Wikipedia, you can get an exhaustive list. Some formats like Microsoft Lit have gone the way of the dodo. Others stand the test of time, survival of the fittest. You know how that goes. That's what we're covering in this micro nugget. So I don't at all mean to give you the impression that this is an exhaustive list of ebook file formats. These are simply the market leader types, file types that are supported by current generation industry leading dedicated e readers. Now, the first and my favorite file type is EPUB. I like this because it's as close as we have to a universal ebook file format. It's a free open ebook standard. Most models of e-reader support EPUB. You can get an e-reader for any web browser on your PC or Mac, even on your Apple hardware. Sometimes compatibility is an issue in the Apple world. The iBooks application and the iBooks format is modeled on EPUB as well. Interactivity is the latest frontier building so-called interactive EPUBs that have embedded movies, embedded audio, and drag and drop interactions. Those are pretty cool. Of course, you'll want to have a a color e-reader to take advantage to of at least the video content and frankly some of the lower end e-ink displays don't even have a speaker so they'd be unable to display the audio bottom line is ebooks are definitely in a state of flux still in 2012 going into 2013 the .azw file format is, is Amazon's proprietary format, and essentially AZW is a modified version of the MOBI standard, M-O-B-I, that's MOBI Pocket. For this reason, you'll find that Amazon Kindles can read AZW and Mobi. However, and be aware of this if you haven't yet purchased an e-reader, an Amazon Kindle cannot read EPUB. Again, that's one of those capitalism, competitive business model things, I have a feeling, because of course, as I said, Apple supports EPUB, Barnes & Noble supports EPUB, Amazon went the Mobi Pocket route. Anyway, know that if you're going to sideload your own content, and I'll create another micro nugget on creating and modifying your own ebooks. The Mobi format can be sideloaded on your Kindle. Adobe's PDF format, portable document format, the Acrobat file as it's sometimes called, is usable on most e-readers. That's a huge customer demand. The problem is that because PDF is originally designed for printing or on-screen reading with full fidelity OS environments, you'll find that PDFs largely don't scale so well on most dedicated e-readers. There are apps on, for instance, iPad, I use an app called Goodreader that can display PDFs in a really wonderful way, but when you get to dedicated ebook readers like the Amazon Kindle or the Nook Simple Touch, you'll find that you have a pretty bad experience, unfortunately, with most PDF content, so be aware of that. That might be, if this is a deal breaker for you, you may at the least need a color screen, if not a full-fledged tablet device. Finally, we have the CBR and CBZ formats. These file formats denote comic books. That's a pretty popular subculture with ebooks. Instead of, I know I grew up with comic books, I still have a Foot Locker filled with my childhood comic books, as a matter of fact. Nothing like that old smell of those 1960s and 1970s era comic pages with all that ink, right? You're not going to get that reading comics on your e-reader, but these formats are pretty standardized and you can have a nice comic book reading experience. Again, assuming that you've got a color display both PDF and CDR, CBR aren't necessarily the best for e-ink displays for sure. So that covers the major ebook file formats. In closing, I'll suggest again that you always want to get these devices in your hands. Test them as thoroughly as you can before you make a purchase. If you're able to pop some of your own content on a micro SD card, you can actually test it right there in the store or using your friend's device. You'll want to definitely read the product pages at the different vendors' websites to verify the file formats that that device supports. And you might also, going further, want to discuss or look for online discussion forums where current customers of that hardware share their experience displaying ebooks of various file formats. Alrighty then, I hope that this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.